what's up? Kaisha here. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel, The Butterfly Effect Tarot. Huge shout out to my day ones, my foundation subscribers, all of my new subscribers. Thank you. I appreciate you. And if you're checking me out for the first time and this reading resonates with you, or I as a reader resonate with you, I encourage you to please share, like, and of course, subscribe. Okay, Libra, you know the drill already. General energy check, not going to resonate with all of you. Take what parts of the story resonate with you and discard the rest. Don't try to force anything to fit. It will only confuse your ass, okay? Nobody wants that. Also, uh, I just want to thank all of you for your good karma donations. For those of you who have been hitting me up on the live tarot line, your harmonic wave, I appreciate you. For those of you that have been thinking about it, I appreciate you and I thank you in advance. And for those of you who have been keeping me busy with these personal bookings, I appreciate you. If you are looking for clarity and answers for your own unique situation, there is a possibility that this reading doesn't resonate with you at all. No worries. Click the notification button. I'm sure Spirit will have something for you at another point in time. Or feel free to book me for a personal reading. All that information and more is located in my description box. Okay, plug over. Let's jump into this reading, man. So, cards have already been shuffled and drawn. And let's see what we have here. We're going to look into some energy in the past, the present, and the near future, the next four to eight months, Spirit said. So we are going to clarify together. Right off the bat, you have Princess of Pentacles in reverse for the past. Now this could be the recent past or the distant past. You put the energy where it goes, you know your story, and you have the chariot in reverse. So something wasn't moving forward, Libra. I feel like this, this was with you. Spirit said for some of you. For some of you, this had to do with your money. You were... You were having a bit of trouble learning how to manage your money, manage your finances, so things weren't moving forward in the direction that you wanted them to, or things weren't moving forward at all. For some of you, I feel like you were um, you were being blocked from something. There was a delay, but the delay was for a reason. It was to um, help you get something organized or get yourself sorted or learn something new so that you could move forward. Mm -hmm. Some of you, you really... You really learn something new. Someone got some new certification or got, uh, I'm hearing MBA, bachelor, certificate, something. You did some kind of leveling up during the whole lockdown that was going on. And, and that's what Spirit wanted. The delay that you had was for a reason to help you to level up. Uh, this is to help you with your finances as well. As some of you are having a hard time learning how to manage your money. Um, learning how to just create security and stability in your life. It was kind of a, a juggling act that, act that you felt you were failing miserably at. Spare, please clarify. Princess of Pentacles in reverse and the chariot in reverse. Mm -hmm. Yes. You came to some realization that you need to do better uh, with your finances, with your life. Mm -hmm. You started to be really brutally honest with yourself. Yes. You could have been trying to control something. I feel like that's what you were honest about. Like you you could have been saying that everything's under control when really it wasn't. Like my finances are in order, you know. I know I owe a hundred grand on my car and um, I'm not working right now, but I'm still going to keep it instead of trade it in and get something cheaper. But um, my finances are okay. I got another eviction letter, but you know what? It's okay. I'm going to go out and party tonight because I feel stressed and... Yeah, I'm going to spend my money on some bottles instead of trying to catch up on my work. Somebody was in that energy, right? And it's just, it's learning your priorities, what's important and what's not. And you recognize, Libra, that uh, you may have had things, I'm hearing, discombobulated. So the things that you were focusing on weren't what was important. And you had some time to recognize that. Mm -hmm. That you were trying to control things, but uh, you were doing it in the wrong way or not the... Spirit said that things just needed to be rearranged. Your priorities needed to be rearranged. That's why things weren't moving forward. Because it's like what you really wanted for your life, you weren't focusing on that. You weren't putting your energy and directing your energy towards that. Yes. Oh, wow. This one just fell out of my hands. <laughs> I was going to shuffle and this fell in my hand, okay? So I feel like Libra in the past... You stop fighting, um, trying to invest in something too. Um, this could have been moving forward in a relationship with someone, trying to make something stable, recognizing that, you know what, maybe 
me viewing this relationship as a priority is really not a priority. I feel like spirit was telling you this is not what's important to you right now, Libra. You need to get your own shit together instead of trying to focus on being in a relationship with this person or with these people. But I like this because you stopped. <laughs> you stopped fighting with someone. You stopped fighting for something. You stopped fighting yourself. Um, deluding yourself, I'm hearing. It's just recognizing that, you know what? I need to change some things up in my life. And, and that's what it is. It's surrendering. Mm -hmm. You realize that it would be wise to surrender. Look at this. You got six of wands presently. And you have five of pentacles in reverse. I love this. I love when the story just comes out so clear. Mm -hmm. When the messages just come out like this. Mm -hmm. Look at this. You see that quiet time that you took, Libra, and that pullback and that a divine intervene intervention of uh, delaying you? Okay, this, that was a blessing in disguise because you're on your way to victory, baby. Mm -hmm. You are experiencing some victory now, presently, and that victory is coming out of, of being in the cold, of being broke, some of you being homeless, mm -hmm, or not having a stable home. You got your shit together. Yes, you did. Uh, those of you that have children, you are a great uh, example for your children. They look up to you like, that's my dad. That's my mom. Look at the moves my parents make. I like that. Someone's, um, ch oh, it's so beautiful. Such beautiful energy. I'm getting goosebumps. Your child looks at you like you a boss. Mm -hmm. and, and that is like the best, like, not like a bossy person. Like my mom, my dad knows how to handle shit. We live a good life. I remember when things weren't good like this and my mom, my dad, or my parents got everything in order and look how we're living now. Your children are very proud of you. They're very impressed. Mm -hmm. This is nice. Very nice energy. Libra, you recognize that nobody is going to save you. You have to save yourself. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what you're in this energy. If I want this done, then I got to do it. Okay. I'm just going to trust the processes of the universe. I'm not going to try to control everything down to the T anymore. I'm going to do my part and I'm going to let the universe do its part. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let God do God's part. Okay. Let God do God's work. Yes. Some of you are working really hard right now and learning how to balance uh, balance your masculine and feminine energies right now. Uh, this is making sure that you are working in harmony with yourself, with your energies, right? So you're not being too aggressive on something and you're not being too soft about something. You know when to push, you know when to pull, you know when to embrace, you know when to move forward, you know when to step back. You're learning how to do that. And this is what is creating victory and triumph in your life. Uh, this is also what is uh, moving your ass out of that five of pentacles energy of feeling like you don't have enough scarcity mentality, scarcity mindset, uh, lack mentality. You are, you're not there anymore. Okay. No, no, you're not. Some of you, the, the idea of being homeless or not having a stable home is a thing of the past. Someone in this collective, you investing in homes or you bought a new home or you're thinking about investing in property, you are setting yourself up for success. You are building a legacy. Mm -hmm. You're building something bigger than yourself. Something that's going to last. Someone that you are really serious about making sure that your kids are taken care of when you're with them and when you're not with them. And that's beautiful. That's beautiful energy. It's like selfish and selfless balancing okay you're being selfish by focusing on only the things that are important and you're being selfless because you're really not even doing it for yourself mm -hmm. you're doing it for something bigger than you you're doing it for legacy for lineage generation someone's building generational wealth here that's what you're doing breaking generational curses that's what you're doing of this poverty lack mentality you'll never have enough or you can only live a certain way me but you don't think like that anymore uh-uh you don't think like that anymore? Yes. Some of you have moved away from somebody. You know what? For those of you where this is a romantic relationship, 
you are experiencing uh, victory and success and recognition in your life now and just having things moving more smoother because you moved away from somebody. Someone that left you in the cold, you left somebody, either someone left you in the cold or you left someone in the cold. Mm -hmm. uh, or you're moving away from that energy of feeling left out in the cold by someone who wasn't very nice to you. Someone who didn't, they weren't supportive. If you have a child or children with this person, they did jack shit. Okay, jack did more than them. You're moving out of that energy of feeling like um, I'm a single parent and I don't have any help and I'm struggling and how am I going to make ends meet? What the fuck? What do you mean? Libra, you don't think like that anymore. I'm a single parent, but I got my shit together. I have a lot of help. I have the universe. I have God. I don't need you. I need me. Mm -hmm. Some of you don't think like that anymore. You've, you've left the victim mentality of feeling like you need to have a, su a supportive person be there with you or stand with you. You recognize that you have to be that way yourself first. Regardless if someone's in your life or not, I am speaking to a single parent here. Spirit said, you got this. Do not worry about not having enough. You will always have enough. Stay focused on your assignment. Stick to your script. Hmm. That was channeled for somebody. So don't worry about who didn't show up for you or show up. Don't worry about anyone who abandoned you. That's not your reality anymore. Yes. I feel like presently a lot of you are working. You're working your way out of this energy as well. Of feeling better about something that didn't, that didn't move forward. That didn't last. You could have lost passion for. You know, someone didn't give you butterflies in your stomach anymore. That, that feeling in your stomach was anxiety <laughs> and stress. You're moving out of that, that energy now. And, and you're doing what you got to do to do it. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. Now, this is going to take some work and it's going to take some time. For Libra, you are very much prepared and equipped for this. Spirit wants you to focus on your new beginning. Now, what's coming towards you in the next uh, eight to, sorry, four to eight months? You have four of wands in reverse and you have the wheel of fortune, right? Remember when I just, I just said this, Spirit said, focus on what is important for you and your new beginning. I can't make this up. For those of you where this was a romantic situation and a home fell apart or you kicked someone out or someone told you to leave or it just, it was a broken home. Spirit's like, this is a new chapter in your life. Focus on that, okay? You see this? You see you have the dream catcher? And if you notice my picture over there, that was a, the purple picture with the goal. That's a dream catcher. So Spirit's like, focus on your dreams now, okay? Go and catch them. Go and meet them. Mm -hmm. Spirit's like, you have other options for you. So you don't need to be... Um, Still in this energy of something didn't work out with someone or this person hurt me, this person abandoned me, uh, I'm a single parent now. Spirit's like, so? <laughs> so what? You can do this. You don't need them. You need you. You need to recognize that you are strong and stable and competent within yourself. Because mm -hmm. for some of you, something wasn't moving forward with someone because they were horrible with money and they were a bad influence on you with your money. So this would be someone who's like, babe, let's go out and go party. Let's get some bottles, okay? Let's go shopping or encourage you to buy stuff because it makes them look good, but they're not helping you pay for it. Someone bought some big car, like an Escalade or something. I see a big black SUV, beautiful. But the, the, um, the car note was killing you. But this person that you were with is driving around showing off in your car like they have money. But they ain't paying for shit, and they ain't helping you pay for shit either. So Spirit's like, done with that, no, okay? Don't play those stupid little childish games with people. Let them go about their business, and you focus on being stable and secure within yourself. You can trade in your car and get something smaller, get something that you can afford, and get around, get from point A to point B, and take care of what you need to take care of. When it's time for those things, then you get that. And if you're with somebody else... Now you know that if you're going to get something and if someone's going to influence you in that way, that they can help your ass with the payments. I don't know who that one was for. Okay. That someone can help you out. Mm -hmm. So please clarify four of wands in reverse and the wheel of fortune. But this is the end of a new cycle. Some of you could be seeing 1010. 
Mm -hmm. A repeating ones and zeros, the end of an old cycle and the beginning of a new one, baby. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Yeah. Spirit said you have other partnerships to get into, other people to meet. Yes, other things to do. Just because it didn't work out with, look at this, new path. I can't make this up. I can't. I really, I, I can't. New path. New cycle, new chapter. What are you doing with it now? Okay? Let the past be the past. Okay? Your family is not together anymore. Create a family with somebody else. There's plenty of blended families. I have a blended family. It's beautiful. Beautiful. Okay? First, like, don't worry about that because someone in this collective, you're worried about what other people are going to say if you speak to someone else or you get in a relationship with someone else. Like, oh, I have more than one baby father. I have more than one baby mother. You know what's important? That you're happy and your children are happy. Not what anybody else thinks, says, or feels. It's none of their damn business, to be honest. Okay? And look at this. To be honest. To be brutally honest with yourself, Libra. And to be brutally honest with you. Okay? Ooh, I got cards flying out of the deck. So these two cards follow the deck. I'm going to take them. Okay? This is about learning how to be structured and organized in your life. Creating routines. And look at this. This is divine guidance. You get it now. Mm -hmm. Back then, you didn't get it. You get it now. I like that. I like that a lot. In this chapter of your life, in the next four to eight months, Libra, you are going to be leveling up. You're going to be on a path, a journey of getting your life so secure and stable, and it is divinely guided. So spirit is going to be like, okay, Libra, make this move. Go for this certification. Go for this license. Get this vehicle. Move over here. Do this. Avoid this. And you listen. You listen. I like that. Mm -hmm. Some of you could be listening to tarot. Uh, some of you could be getting uh, readings. You're getting downloads. Some of you are getting messages in your dreams. Yes, spirit is speaking to you in your dreams on how to manifest your dreams. And this is what is coming towards you in the next four to eight months. You are on a new path of partnership. Partnership with yourself first. You are your first best friend. You are your first lover. Your first everything that you need from somebody else. You are that to yourself first now. Mm -hmm. That's the journey that you are on. Remember when I said earlier, you recognize how important it is to be stable and secure within yourself first before you try to be that way with anybody else. Because that's how you attract that into your life. Like attracts like. Like vibrations attract like vibrations. Now, in the past, you were in this vibration where you were on some party and bullshit. It's okay, Libra, because look at this. It's princess. You're young. I, I know nothing. You're young. You're being young, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I just heard young, dumb, and broke. It's, it's okay. It's okay. We've all been there. We've all been there. Don't feel bad. But now you're listening. Now that you're more mature, you're doing adult shit now. And you're putting your best foot forward and you're striving to be the best version of yourself. And that's beautiful. I love it. Mm -hmm. You're like, I'm only getting older. I can't be living like this. I have children now or I want children. Or even if you don't want children or you don't have any, you want a better life. That's being an adult. That's being mature. That's about spiritual growth as well. Because now you're listening. Before you weren't listening to yourself. When you got a bad feeling and spirit's like, don't go buy that freaking expensive ass car. You're going to be living in that car because you can't afford anything else. Why? So dude or our sister you're with can pose up in your shit? No. Don't do stuff like that anymore. Do stuff that's good for you and that's aligned with what you want and is conducive to you getting the things that you want for your life. That's what you're doing now. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like it. You're starting to figure out um, solutions to problems. Libra, you know what I like about this? You are recognizing that... <laughs> The quieter you get, the louder, or not even the louder, the quieter you get. So some of you could be meditating now. Someone is doing um, an activity that's very meditative to them. That could be jogging. That could be walking. That could be yoga. But something where you move your body around that allows you to get into a meditative state and you get your best ideas when you're doing that. And that's your higher self speaking to you. That's your guides, your angels, ancestors. They speak to you when you're doing this meditative activity mm -hmm. and they tell, they tell you and, and guide you on how to uh, sort your life out, 
bring more routine structure. They help you figure out what your next moves are going to be and how you should do them. It's a really beautiful relationship. A lot of you, you entered into partnership too with your guides, angels, ancestors. You're like a team. Teamwork makes the dream work. Mm -hmm. You're working as a team with them. This is co-creating with the universe at its finest. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, Spirit, do you have any more messages? Any more messages for the Libra Collective? Spirit said, not that one. Okay, so we're going to use the Energy Oracle deck. Spirit, any more messages for the beautiful Libra Collective? The beautiful Libra Collective. Some of you have a new partnership coming in. Uh, this could be friend. This could be romantic. Some of you may reconnect with an old friend that you lost touch with before um, or during the whole lockdown and everything. You could reconnect with them. Uh, some of you are, you're going to meet somebody in the next four to eight months. And Spirit said, this is a new opportunity. This is a new chapter. Move forward in that energy. Uh, you're also going to be listening to divine guidance on if you should move forward with this person. So I ain't even worried about you, Libra. I'm not worried about you at all. No need to worry. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. The thinking man. The thinking man. Okay. So this is you uh, listening. Like I said, this is just confirmation. Spirit said to continue to listen to your divine guidance. Continue to listen to yourself and do what's best for you. Now, something doesn't feel right, it's probably because it isn't. Okay. Like 100% it isn't. Follow your intuition. And if something does feel right, follow your intuition. Because it is. Right? And look, let me show you this. <laughs> you see how spirit, spirit likes to play games? You have the 10 here. Can you see the 10? This is a new cycle. And that's the Wheel of Fortune. So you have good karma coming in. Uh, and this is... Spirit just pushing you forward like, Libra, it's your turn. It's your time. Go be happy, okay? You've set yourself up for success. You're working with the universe to set yourself up for success. And then you have this, the thinking man. And if you see here, four and six is 10, <laughs> okay? So this is, this. you are definitely in a new chapter and a new cycle of your life. And you are listening to divine guidance. It was spirit that helped you to get here. Okay, so I suggest you you team up with those that have your highest intention and your highest good at heart. They want good things for you, and these are um, these are people seen and unseen. Okay, mm -hmm. some of you have some ancestors from like um, what is it? Is it the Victorian times or something mm -hmm. that have been guiding you? But you have ancestry that is royalty. Yes, you do, and they're speaking to you on how to create your royal lineage. Mm -hmm. Invest in this, focus on that. Don't fuck with other people like this. You wanna be dealing with these type of energies. They're teaching you how to move like what you are, royalty. Mm -hmm. Double confirmation, message, message, message. Okay, we can start to see things clearly mm -hmm. by following your intuition. This is clarity, this is co-creation at its finest, I love it. Spirit, can I get one last card of guidance, practical guidance and advice for the Libra Collective? Practical guidance and advice. <laughs> uh, sometimes I say, why am I always repeating words, Spirit? Why do you guys always have me repeating words? And Spirit said, repetition brings faith. Mm -hmm. So you keep saying it over and over again. It's like programming, right? To believe in yourself. So that's why most times you hear my readings, um, I'm channeling and it's like the whoever is being channeled is saying things twice for you to get it, right? One for the surface, one for beneath the surface. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, all right. Look at this. You are worthy. Allow yourself to receive love and care today without feeling guilt, shame, or debt. Libra, you don't owe anybody anything, okay? And nobody owes you anything either. You just live your life in love and harmony and balance and peace. And Spirit wants you to know that you deserve those things. You deserve to be happy. Remember earlier I said, Spirit said, it's your time now, okay? Show gratitude and genuine appreciation for the blessings you receive because you're coming from very far, Libra. Very far. Mm -hmm. So Spirit said, it's gratitude brings latitude. 
The more grateful and appreciative you are for what you have now, the more the universe is going to bless you with more. And that's what spirit is setting you up. Didn't I say earlier, you're being set up for success here. Believe that you're worth it and you deserve these blessings today. Anything that you want, anything that you desire, you have those desires for a reason. Okay? They're not random. <laughs> okay? They're not coincidence. There's no such thing. This is for you to do because you deserve this. Distance yourself from people, situations, and relationships that cause you to feel unworthy. This is just double confirmation. Continue to listen to your inner guidance. Continue to listen to your guides. Mm-hmm. Because you are 100% being guided in this new chapter of your life. Libra, this is what I have for you, honey. If any of this resonates, smash that like button. If not, that's cool another time. With that being said, you have yourself a fantastic morning, noon, or night. And I will catch your beautiful energy on the flip side. Bye.